fatal shooting at a funeral. Gunshots ring out in a Baltimore County cemetery. The investigation, the victims, and the search for suspects. Hello, everybody. I'm Mary Bubala. And I'm Vic Carter. Police say the service had just gotten started before gunfire erupted at the cemetery in Lansdowne. Tonight, one man is dead. Another remains in critical condition. WJZ is live outside Baltimore County Police Headquarters. George Solis obtaining video of the shooting as it unfolded. George. Yeah, Vic, it's quite the chilling crime, a shooting at a funeral. Tonight, dramatic video shows mourners running for their lives. Surveillance video capturing the chaos at a Baltimore County Cemetery Wednesday afternoon. Mourners there to say goodbye to a loved one, forced to flee as bullets begin to fly. I was saying she saw somebody go down running from the funeral. Chopper 13 also over the dramatic scene at Mount Zion Cemetery in Lansdowne. WJZ obtaining this video of the deadly shooting from Lucky Auto Repair, whose cameras face the cemetery. Carlos Medina says he heard the shots ring out. This world is getting crazy because we got a funeral right here, then plus somebody else got shot. That's crazy. The video showing what appears to be a group of men police say had just separated from the funeral procession that had just arrived get into some type of altercation. This clip appears to show a man pointing a gun. Later, he's seen falling to the ground. Police say one man was killed, another now in grave condition at the hospital. Authorities say they believe the shooting was targeted. We believe there were at least two guns that were involved. We believe there were two shooters. Late Wednesday, Baltimore City Police confirming the funeral was for 18-year-old Marcus Brown. Brown was shot and killed in late August off North Mount Street. Back in Lansdowne, few can hardly fathom having to lose a loved one to gun violence and then in turn having to survive it. Poor family right there, they crying and see all these things happen again. So that would be sad. Now, police say a third victim was taken to the hospital complaining of chest pains. But as for motive, number of suspects and weapons used, that is all part of this now ongoing investigation. Live outside Baltimore County Police Headquarters tonight, George Solis reporting for WJZ.